Good morning. It's still morning when I'm recording this, so I'm not sure what time of day it'll be when you're watching, but I hope you enjoy my video. I am going to show you some of the stamps that were released uh, at the end of January. I'm going to do a little masking and a little what I call loose watercolouring. So I'm going to make a set of ATCs. I'll show you how I do them. And I'm thinking it'll probably uh, be under the theme of new beginnings. Every month we have an ATC um, swap in our group on I Love Indigo Blue and last month it was New Beginnings so although I, these won't be for then I thought that's what I would do. So I'm going to change the camera and show you what I'll be using. So here we have the new stamps and these were all released you would have seen them all by now I've absolutely loved working with these so we have the collector's edition number 65 Clockwork Cottage, we have Wells House who would love to live in a house like that? Me. So Henry Fortescue. Isn't he absolutely handsome? I think he's a dish. Lady Fortescue. Strong woman. Can tell just by looking at the way she's walking. And Feltwell Road. I mean, what a fabulous house. So I love these stamps. So I'm going to start off by um, doing my mask. So the way I do that is to stamp on a piece of this is just, for, you know, just ordinary copy paper and cut it out and you end up with a very well used mask. So I've cut two out, I've cut him out separately and then I've cut this bit out. So it's a bit harder to see because I've been using it. So that's all I do. Now a little tip when you're cutting out for a mask is instead of cutting on, let me show you, instead of cutting kind of here, if you cut in a little bit, you won't get such a, um, such a gap. Now I've cut mine for this one because they're my old ones on the edge so I might just show you then how I fill in afterwards so to get going we're going to cut our masks out so they're all ready now I've got a couple of pieces of paper here this one is super smooth watercolor paper and this one is the indigo blue perfect stamping um, card stock so I'm probably going to do two to show you how different they are because there's a di much different texture on this one so I've got Sir Henry. I'm also going to be um, using some clear embossing powder because I want to watercolor and I don't want um, I don't want my images to actually run. So I'm a bit of an awkward stamper me. So I'm going to put him here. So my pieces of paper are actually a little bit bigger than um, what I'm going to need, but I'll cut the edges off and cut them where I want them afterwards. Now I can just feel a bit of a dip in my glass mat, so hopefully I'll get a good image. There he is. And I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to the colour card. Let me just get this here for... I'm using a Versafine Claire, I'm using Nocturne, and that's quite a juicy ink pad, so that will be fine for a, a minute or two. So, one lovely, lovely clear image there. So this one will be a little bit more grainy because of the texture on the actual cardstock. Some people would use probably a stamping platform. So you can see it's not quite as clear, but it's still clear enough for what I want. So my little pot of clear embossing powder. And my heat gun. So I apologise for the noise now. So Sure, I've got those 
grubby finger marks off. So the next one I'm going to use is the lady. So I'm going to be using her. And to do to use her, I need to now mask him off. So I'm going to carry on with this one. going to be peeping over his shoulder now because I've masked him I'm going to take this off you'll see that she is literally looking over his shoulder so I've still got his image and she is just behind And again, I'm sorry, the heat gun's going to have to... And now for the homes, which will be the new beginning. So we now have to use more than one mask. So I'm thinking this little one beside the lady. So now I need his mask. I probably won't need his mask actually, but I do need her mask. So I tend to put the smaller ones underneath and then a bit bigger one on top just in case I go over further than I think I'm going to. So I'm going to go down a little bit lower because I want her to definitely be peeping out. So what I'll do is cut this bit off afterwards. I'm not going to worry about the gap that I've got in there. That bit might be edited out. So don't worry about this gap I have here. I'm going to be putting some other watercolour in. You won't really notice afterwards. And on this side, I want a bigger house. So I'm going to use... Oh my goodness, I've got dropsy today. So in this stamp, in Wells House, you've got some clouds. You've also got some in with the lady stamp. But I'm just going to stick one or two in the background. Put 
her back going like that. So let's get some of this on. Quickly do this and get onto some coin. So put a mass in the back. some clean water and some translucent paints. I've got my paint mat here. I have got a soft brush and then I've got some smaller brushes just to colour in. Now I always go for um, mulberry bush like mulberry bush there she is um, I'm also going to use Sargasso Sea I have got um, lemon meringue lemon meringue or daffodil um, actually no I might use this one yellow okra so, a little bit there way too much you need such a small amount of this paint knife in my craft room but I had some spare water over there so these colors will give me a green they will give me a purple and that's all of the ooh, this is such an old pot of paint just need to work it in a little bit and that will be fine so I am going to clean my hands get a little drop of water on these get them ready so I don't want them to be covering the lines so I'm quite happy to have them fairly pale for what I want going to use this little brush and I'm just going to paint to start with with some clear water and I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with Sir Henry Fortescue and I'm just painting I'm not going to be trying to stay within all of the details And as you can see, this, because we've got the water in and watered it first, the colour's going to flow. Now if we put a little bit of pink in here, we're going to get a little bit of purple. And I like this kind of random way of colouring. Now if I put a little bit of blue in here and I don't try to colour every little bit. I like to see some of the some of the white bits and a little bit of yellow. 
we're going to get a real nice shade of green. So a little bit down here. And he has the multicolour coat. Now the only bit up that I am putting a little bit of yellow in is here. I'll worry about their faces afterwards. I tend to do those later on. Now, what about Lady? Do we want her the same? Maybe. Ooh. So again, some clean water. It's just a little bit of her today, so I'm going to start off with a pink this time. And a bit of the blue. Now can you see where the blue has gone onto her face? I'm just going to put a bit of extra in there. What I'd give for long, glorious blonde locks. So, for her face, I've just got a real, real faint bit and, and the same with him, really. I don't want it to be kind of totally, totally stark white, but and I might do his lips a little bit afterwards. Now this I'm going to do, I think green so I'm gonna start off with a and go with the blue now I have got green translucent paints there but with these colors I just don't feel like I need them always so and I don't want them to be all um, you know one color this is quite a, a quirky stamp set and that's how I want to keep it really This is going to be a little bit purple here. And uh, yep, yeah, I think I'll do it purple here as well. That's a little bit darker than the rest of him. So these colours will dry a bit lighter. Now the clouds, I'm going to just leave my clouds for a minute and then I've got another house over here. And again, I do want this to be a little bit green to, you can see that I'm not taking the time to colour every little individual bit. I'm sure some of you will because some people are absolutely brilliant at colouring, aren't they? And I'm, it's just not something that I really do a lot of. Now this bit in here, I'm just going to bring it on a little bit. And then this bit in here, where I have a bit of a gap, again, I'm just going to bring it on a little bit. And then when it's dry, I have got a black fine liner. If I want to, I can put, um, you know, a few more lines and stuff in. So what do I want to do with the background? I'd quite like it to be a little paler. Now, what colours have I got? So I have got some leather corset, which is quite apt really for a steampunky lady. So this is all going to be and again this will, the colour will just move and if I give it a bit of a dry afterwards I can always go in with more colour if I want to. If 
want it to be a little bit darker, I can always get my paint pot. So I don't want all of it to be darker. I just want some of the little finer bits. So. So a very loose colouring. There's so much on here that you could actually colour in, isn't there? I don't want to. Now, looking at his cheeks, they've paled a little bit too much for me, so I'm going to put a little bit more in. Oh, he's a bit of a blusher, isn't he? I'm just dabbing it with my. Maybe a bit too much, but. A little bit of pink for her. So, I have got this uh, pink and purpley going on here, but I don't have a lot of it behind. So, I was going to kind of do <clears throat> blue at the top, but I think actually I'm going to do... Oh, that still has brown on it, so that's answered that for me. Didn't wash my brush too well, did I? But that's actually all right. And then I think the top. So I'm going to leave that to dry a little minute or two. I'm going to move my paint out of the way. And in Henry Fortescue, we have a couple of um, sentiments here. But there are also, uh, in with Feltwell Road, there is also New Home, New Adventures, New Memories. And I quite like when I'm doing a set of ATCs to, um, to have those three lines so that because I'm doing a set of three they can go on to a set of three so I've got a little scrap of paper here and I've lost my ink oh no there it is embossing powder on that just to give it a little dry how it dries I'm not going to worry about it so just going to give these a quick blast
So, I'm going to need uh, two and a half, five, seven and a half, and I've got eight. So, I am going to cut straight down here. Cut a little bit off this edge. I should have bought my trimmer, which I haven't bought, so on the back. So it's not quite seven and a half. I'm going to cut a little bit more off because I'm going to be putting these onto a piece of packing card. I want that to be a little bit straighter there. So what I will do later on is cut these down. I will put on my new home somewhere, maybe new adventures, new memories. And then I will put these onto a piece of black cardstock to back it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.